Well, hello and welcome back to another video. Um, this week's video is um, one of my personal loves, as you'll know. Um, I did a little short video about these um, last week um, and um, didn't get the chance to make this video then. Um, but as you know from the channel, I really like um, country boots and that style of taller boots. You know, I think um, for us men, they're probably easier to wear. And um, if you're new to taller boots, it's a good way into it. And, um, and um, I look around and particularly this time of year, you know, there's a lot of places selling, you know, obviously this time of year, people don't wear taller boots so much, you know, it, it, they're more of a bigger demand in the winter. And, um, and in a sale online, um, at a bargain price again, what I thought was a bargain price again, I managed uh, to pick up this pair that I'm going to have a look at today. And um, I love these, and here they are. And um, these are Harry Hall. Um, Harry Hall, um, for those everybody not in the UK and perhaps never heard of that brand, they do make um, traditional riding wear, riding boots, you know, um, all that kind of thing and uh, jodhpurs, breeches and have done for many years and have got a good reputation in the, in the equestrian world in the UK and have done sponsorship and things like that for equestrian events and such like. So these are the Harry Hall brand. Now, I'm going to say straight away, these are loosely classed as unisex boots. I suppose if I'm honest, I'm going to be honest here, these are aimed at the more female end of the market in country boots. But I don't know why, you know, I just absolutely love these. I love the, the tall laces and how they're designed, the colours, how they're put together. Um, they do, if, if you go onto Harry Hall's site, um, they are also in the men's boots, so, so they are classed as loosely a unisex boot. They only, I've only found them up to a size 10, what's that, is that a 44 in Euro size? So obviously limited if you're, you know, if you're 42, 43, 44 and you're a man, you know, that they, they, they will fit you okay. Um, so I suppose, you know, whereas Harry Hall call them unisex, I, I think, you know, the vast majority of buyers would be, um, you know, women. But that's neither here nor there with a the boot to me, you know. Um, you buy what you like if 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 the, the size fits you and you can get your size in it and it's comfortable and you like it that's good enough for me um so these are harry or harry hall um adding adding hum boots um i'll put that in test uh, in text as always and um as i say I, th I think they're very, very attractive. They, they remind me of a little bit, um, you know, like the old <laughs> sort of um, 19th century explorers used to wear, you know, with the laces, you know, when you were going into the jungle or going, you know, um, to explore some new continent. And that, that's what they kind of remind me of and, and give me a throwback to that. Um, very nicely made boots. I suppose, you know, I haven't looked whether it... Um, no, that, that I was going to say, I suppose they're Chinese, but these are made in India, uh, of all places. There we go, I've zoomed in a little bit on them. Um, as I say, beautiful stitching detail on them, and I just, I just adore the colour. And um, I think they've got one or two marks on, that's why they were very cheap. Um, I've seen these boots priced right from what I paid for these, which was about £45, right up. They've also on Harry Hall's site for about £99. And then I've seen them, they were, I think they're meant to retail about something like £190. So as you can see, um, mine had a few little marks on the leather, but I'm not worried about that at all. Um, there's no actual damage at all on them. And so I had one of the last bigger sizes um, in this sale. And um, 
Yeah, uh, you know, a lovely boot, I think. I love such a lovely colour, and I do, so I really do like this lace details. Now, the beauty of this is um, you don't, you can just leave that in place. You don't have to touch all that because at the back here, and um, we do have zips. You see that, and there they are quite nicely lined inside, very nicely soft, um, almost like a, with, a, with a bit of a thermal foam there. So obviously, you know, would be relatively warm uh, in the winter time, as I say. And if I, you know, show you a little bit more, as I say there, of the bottoms and the detail close up to the camera, as I say, lovely, um, nice, um, not too grippy sole. I mean, as with all Harry Hall stuff, I mean, loosely, they are, you know, you, you could probably ride in them. I wouldn't really recommend it, but you could probably because the grip isn't too much and you've got the nice inch, inch heel there um, for the stirrup. So, um, but um, that's it. The sun's on them now, whether you'll see them because that'll probably um, affect the camera. But a little bit of a buckle detail there. And um, I say a really super looking boot, I think. Um, you know, um, for you, you might think they look too feminine, too, too, too much like a woman's boot. I appreciate that. As I say, they're not for everybody. Um, you know I have a, a love of country boots. I think they're great. Um, I mean, I think uh, in the winter time, these would look equally as well in any town or city with some, you know, skinny jeans. They would look, they would look gorgeous, you know, and um, why us men still... <laughs> can't get our heads round the fact that these are so brilliant and look so fantastic I, I you know it kind of beats me sometimes so there we go um I love them I haven't really worn them enough to tell you you know they're very you know um they do feel very comfortable on and I will put them on in a few minutes and just quickly show you them on I'm not going to make this a long video um you know uh, by any means but um so anyway, enough of me rambling. I will now put the boots on and, um, you know, show you them on. So as I say, um, you've got a nice sort of tongue that comes into the back. And um, as I said, you, your foot slides in very easy with the zipper. Um, I know I've said before I'm not a fan of zippers on country boots. Um, you know, where, you've, where you've, the boots tend to prone to get a, um, there we go. Tend to get kind of mud, but but these I I would I would never want to wear these um, in kind of really too muddy conditions. Um, and there we go. Um, you know I think they look absolutely super. These boots, um, as I say, they do remind me of those exploring type boots that the. You know, some of the early explorers used to go out in the in the you know rainforest in the jungles and and that kind of thing. Um, perhaps I read too many adventure comics as a, <laughs> as a child, but that's what they kind of remind me of with the laces at the front. Um, I think you know they kind of boot, uh, boots with laces. I know, as I say, my great great grandfather was a bootmaker, and he used to boot, boot you know make boots by hand and boots with laces for men used to be called field boots um, so probably more of a field type country boot should we say but um, I really love them I just love the colour um, the design how they're made and um, so that's the Harry Hall Addingham uh, country boot as I say limited to, to how big a size they go they go up to a 44 um, so obviously if you've got really big feet, you know, um, bigger than a, say, um, that's a UK man's men's size 10 or Euro 44, you're not going to get them because they're not made, unfortunately. Um, but um, as always, I'll do a little bit of video of me walking about in them, but um, super comfortable comfy straight from the time you put them on um, you know I, there again I, I know instantly I could wear these all day without any discomfort and that they feel very lovely um, yeah quite a tall boot if you, if you don't like you know um, quite quite tall up, up you know um, so um, so yeah there we go
So as always, thank you for watching my videos. And um, like I say, you know, um, I have gone down in video quantity because obviously it's not really, you know, um, boot time of the year, but we shall keep the channel ticking over. There will be videos still coming. I've got other ideas of other videos to do and we shall certainly keep looking at different boots and different ideas on boots and clothes to wear with boots uh, in the coming weeks. Um, so please, please do think about subscribing. It really does help us build channels, try and get noticed and, and promote this whole idea of why us men seem so slow on the uptake of um, wearing taller boots. Um, and I do appreciate everybody that has subscribed. You know, I really do thank you and um, thank you for your lovely comments that people leave. And um, it's a joy to read those. Um, so thank you to everyone and please do like as well if you like this video and um, we do appreciate all that and thank you. Um, it's now looking as it might rain. Uh, it's quite cool out here for May and um, so I shall um, have a little walk about and show you these boots walking about and then get back to my gardening. Um, and um, I'll be back with some more videos and looking at other boot related items in future videos. Until that point in time, my best wishes and bye for now.